So there are a couple of errors I want to review with you on DynamoDB that I think you should know. The first one being throttling exception. So the rate of request exceeds the allowed throughput. This exception might be returned if you perform any of the following operations too rapidly. So create table, update table, delete table. Uh, this is likely to happen, I would say, with update table because it's not, it's not uh, frequent that you're creating tables or deleting tables, but it's possible you might send multiple actions to an update table. Um, the other error I want you to know, and this one is extremely common, it's provision throughput exceeded exception. So you exceeded your maximum allowed provision throughput for, it, for a table or for one or more global secondary indexes. This error occurs uh, when you've uh, exceeded your, your throughput. So that's your capacity units, your reads or your writes. Um, and so you're very, very likely to see this error. Uh, when an error does occur uh, on DynamoDB, you're gonna likely be accessing DynamoDB via the AWS SDK. So you're writing it programmatically in your code. And when it when an error fails, the SDK has it built in, so it will automatically retry uh, when something failed. It'll try it again. Uh, as well, it will implement exponential backoff. Uh, if you've never heard of this before, the idea is that I've encountered an error. I'm going to wait 50 milliseconds before I try again. And if that one fails, I'm going to try 100 milliseconds. And if that one fails, I'm going to keep on doubling that time. And here it's going to update it up to a minute before it stops. So this is just a strategy for trying to make sure changes uh, make their way through. Um, so if you're using SDK, that ensures that you're not going to lose data because it's going to try and try again. Um, and so I want to point out that these two exceptions are important because they're very likely to show up in your exam. Very, very likely provision through a throughput exceeded exception. And notice that it says provision throughput. So remember there's, a, uh, there's um, two capacity modes. We have throughput provision throughput and on-demand. So this error provision throughput would never happen for on-demand. For on-demand, this error could never occur. Uh, maybe it would occur if you exceeded the 40,000 um, RCU or um, W, uh, or the right capacity units or the, the read capacity units. I don't know, I've never exceeded it, so I couldn't tell you what error shows up. Maybe it's called on-demand exception, but this error is extremely common, so you have to understand what it's for.